Hey everybody, final thoughts time for Rampage. Um, well, I don't think I need to give any final thoughts. I think it was pretty obvious from that run through we just did how silly, goofy, fun this game is. I mean, there is no way you are ever going to play this game and not laugh. It's just impossible. It just brings out joy and merriment and mirth. It is a silly, whimsical, little fluffy throwaway thing of a game. Although it's interesting. Physical comedy. There's a lot of physical comedy, yes. I mean, Jen, I don't know what she was doing with what kind of flicking god she was channeling there to do all that weird kind of stuff she was doing. But yeah, it's just crazy. Um, you know, and, and there's always a, you know, a fair bit of suspense when you reveal at the end and everybody shows, oh, here's what I ate, because it's impossible to keep track of what everybody's eaten and what the final score is, although it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who wins or who loses in this game. Everybody wins when you play this game because you're all having a good time. This is a great, wonderful, wonderful party game. Um, you, know, you can explain it to anybody, but the only problems with this game are, one, it is very easy to lose pieces as evidenced by my makeshift tooth that I've had to use to replace one of the teeth we've lost. Don't know where it is, it's lost forever. I really worry about starting to lose these meeples because it's so cool to have little stickers on them, but you know, sooner or later, they're gonna go flying and we're not gonna be able to find them. So that's, it, it would have been nice if they would have included some additional um, resources, I mean, you know, to, to make up for that. Like uh, what Stronghold did with What's it? Going, going, gone. They included a bunch of extra cubes because they knew people were going to lose cubes. It would have been nice to include some extra people. I understand why they didn't keep costs down and all that. It's, it just would have been nice. But that's a minor complaint. If you're careful, then it should be okay. And like, But we are careful, and we already lost one tooth. So um, another thing, and this is pretty widely regarded as happening, so I don't think it's just us. Uh, you probably can't tell. There is a little tiny bit of warpage with these boards, even though they're incredibly thick and they're built really smart. There's this central piece here that is um, a key. You can see it's a key that holds the board together so that the center is all nice and tight. But um, like I said, I've heard other, I've seen a lot of people do it too. There is a ridge. If you were trying to flick from here to here, you hit an invisible wall because of this ridge. It's not the end of the world because it just means you have to, okay, if you know you're going to shoot that way, have somebody hold the ridge down so you can still go smoothly across. That's unfortunate. It really would have been nice if they would have included something so you could make sure it's smooth all the way around. But still, it's a surmountable thing. Uh, you just have to do, you know, something to, to smooth those edges down, you know, physically hold them down and try to do it in such a way that your finger doesn't get in the way of somebody shooting. Although then, I guess they could ricochet off your finger. Ah. Well, but anyway. we live in a very humid climate as well. Um, it's true, we do live in a humid climate, but like I said, that's why I mentioned, I've heard a lot of people mention that this is a problem, that they get warpage on this board. And it's not insurmountable, it's just a slight hassle to have to deal with it, that every once in a while certain shots will be affected by that. But heck, maybe, maybe you won't have that, who knows. Um, and, uh, and it's true that there are going to be a lot of weird edge cases uh, that just come up. And it's like, well, what do we do under these circumstances? Because the rules, they are very, very far from thorough dealing with all the stuff that might happen. Um, and to a certain extent, getting back to my original point, that doesn't matter because this isn't a game about winners and losers and, you know, and, oh, I got to, we have to know exactly what to do in this circumstance because it's just silly, goofy fun. If you're not sure, just make a rule for yourself. We find that we have to do that often because there's just weird, well, I'm not really quite sure what's supposed to happen and I don't see anything in the rules that directly specifies what to do under these circumstances. So, but it's a minor thing and you just make do with it. And, uh, you know, and it's true. I mean, sometimes some of these skills, you're not really quite certain. Well, but does that matter in this case? You just figure it out as you go. It would have been nice if things were a bit more thorough, but it's, again, a minor complaint. And those are all minor compared to just how clever and silly and fun and laugh out loud hilarious this game is. We enjoyed it every time we played it. And... While I don't think it's a particularly good two-player game if we just play normally, where each of us only has one monster on the board, because the board is gigantic, and you know there's just not much... There, there's less chaos. There's, there's less destruction going on. There's less opportunity for silly, wacky hijinks. So you really do want to have four monsters on the board. But the team thing, which is weird, the rules don't say anything about, hey, use the team variant for only two players. But it instantly makes the two-player game really, really interesting because then you can start making some tactical choices about, well, okay, if I use this and I blow in there, and then if you move over here, you can eat all the stuff I blew, and that's perfect because you need those three meeples. I could actually just blow the 
this princess over there because that's the last thing you need to score 10 points and it's the last meeple on the board. So you can get some very, very cool things going on. There's a couple other variants in the game as well, including one that's very interesting. Normally, at the end of the game, when you reveal and, hey, I get 10 points because I had a full suite, um, you know, and the ones that weren't part of a suite, they just get lost. But you can play a variant that's kind of hardcore where the ones you reveal that weren't part of a, a set, you lose points for them. Ooh. And so then you have to be very, very picky. And there's going to be a lot more often that you, even though I could eat these meeples, I am not going to do that because they'll lose me points at the end of the game because I don't think I can make a set out of them. So there are some cool variants built in with the game as well. But, you know, I mean, just overall, that's all, that's just all kind of ancillary neatness, the core neatness of this game, um, you know, trying to, uh, you know, literally do that kind of stuff. That was a bit overpowered. <laughs> um, but I, I would have been holding myself, so he would have been last man standing from that atomic blast. <laughs> but again, you know, if I had done that, wow, look at all the meeples this guy could have eaten, and I would have knocked Jen over. There's just something tactile and tangible and silly, goofy fun with this game that makes Rampage a really, really great investment, even only for two players, if you play with the team variant. And I don't know if Jen has anything to add. Nope. You've oh. summed it up well. All right. And so that's it, folks. That was Rampage. Any questions, comments, concerns, as always, let me know. Please, for folks who know this game better than us, please let me know where we made mistakes, because I'm sure we made a few. I mean, if somebody knows what the official rule is when a monster ends up on top of a building, I don't know. We just have to guess for ourselves. It could be that, oh, you're stuck there and you're in danger of getting knocked down, or it could be that you can get down because you're not on the ground, and, you, and therefore you can use the nudge rule. I don't know, but it's beside the point because whatever the answer is, it's still goofy, silly, fun as you gobble up nom, 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 all these poor little meeples while the other ones try to fight back from escaping. Thanks for watching, folks. Talk to you later. Have a good day.